Hello everyone and welcome back to Network 13. Today we're going to be doing a follow-up to our last video which was on the LM339 quad voltage comparator IC. And really quickly to review, if you didn't see that, LM339 has four voltage comparators in one package. Um, it can run off a single supply of between 2 and 36 volts, which would be ground referenced, or it can run off a dual um, split supply between plus and minus 1 to plus and minus 18 volts. And this has open collector outputs, which can sync, I believe, a minimum of 6 milliamps, and I believe the typical is 15. I'll be posting the link to the data sheet for this part on the Google Plus page. Um, if you want to refer to that, it has a lot of great information in it, applications information and, and specs, of course, all that kind of stuff. Now, today's circuit is a window comparator, or also known as a limit comparator. And this is constructed with two comparators out of the package. There is a voltage divider that's providing two reference voltages. In this case, it's one volt and two volts. There is an output stage, an LED driver. So the LED will indicate when the input signal is between one volt and two volts. If the input signal is below one volt, the LED will be off. And if the input signal is above two volts, the LED will also be off. And if you look at this arrangement, these are open collector outputs. So if either one of these comparators is low, if the output's low, you'll be shunting the base drive on the, on the uh, 3904, which will make the LED turn off. And here is, a, um, here is the, uh, the response curve, or the transfer function. So when <laughs> the input is at zero, between zero and one volt, the LED will be off. When you're between one and two volts, the LED will be on. And then when you're above two volts, the LED will be off again. It's, um, it's a pretty basic circuit. It's pretty simple, um, but it is somewhat uh, useful. And it's a good thing to demonstrate. Okay, so here's the circuit. Uh, I used this, like I did in the last video, this recycled LM339, which I rescued from an old junk PC board, and I mounted on this um, 600 mil dip adapter. And this is our 3904 transistor. This is our potentiometer, which is going to be providing our input signal. And I have the multimeter connected to the input signal. So we'll be able to see which voltages the LED comes on at and which voltage it turns off at. So let's begin. Oh, supply is at 5 volts also, by the way. So let's start. So as I begin to bring this up, the LED should stay off until we reach 1 volt. Let's see if that happens. And oh, there we go. Okay, we're close. We're close. So at a volt, right about at a volt, the LED comes on. Okay, next test will be it should remain on until we reach two volts. So let's see. So we increase. And there we go, two volts, and it goes out. And anything above two volts, it should remain off, which it does. We'll go right up to, right up to five. So that's the window comparator. And this will indicate if we're between two thresholds which in this case are one volt and two volts. And of course, you know, as I always say with these, with these solderless breadboard circuits, this is not an optimum layout. This is not an optimum grounding scheme. So, and these aren't optimum components, the resistors, so that we're not gonna get a lot of precision out of something like this. It'll tend to be noisy, uh, perhaps, and a little bit, a little bit 
imprecise, but it's close enough for an experiment to show how the circuit works. Okay, this is, uh, this is about all that it does. Um, the window comparator or limit comparator. That's about it. So, to wrap things up, if you liked this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, feel free to give it a thumbs down. Doesn't matter. Any kind of feedback is welcome. If you want to leave a comment, you can leave it in the comment section. Or you can send comments directly to our email address, network13.contact at gmail.com. Feel free to subscribe to our channel if you like what we're doing, if you enjoy these videos. Um, I try to come out with these as often as I can. Sometimes it's not as often as I'd like. And if you want more information, you can go to our Google Plus page, which will contain exhibits from all the videos, which are the schematics, any source code, any links to data sheets, Wikipedia articles, what have you. You can find the um, link to the Google Plus page if you go to the About tab on the YouTube channel. Or it'll, the link will, the, uh, not the link, but the... Uh, the uh, name of the Google Plus page and, and a way to get to it will be in the end card at the end of the video. Okay, I think that's about it. Uh, this was very, a very short and short and simple video today, but I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And as always, thank you for watching.